everybody. I'm Kristen, and I am a new recent powerhouse here on Tarot. I'm going to start this channel to basically inform people of some of the things and experiences that I have gone through starting up my Tarot business. Um, initially, you know, I started Tarot to... I felt like um, it'd be a good way to help, you know, pay my car note. Most people start Turo, you know, to pay their car note. So I feel like your mortgage or your rent and your car note is one of your big bills. So if you could find a way to cut your car note in half, you know, this should be a great thing. So if you could go from paying five hundred or six hundred or seven hundred dollars on a car note to paying half of that two fifty three hundred three fifty something like that i mean that's already great and in my mind would be a way for me to essentially be able to afford more cars instead of me paying a car note for one you know initially i was thinking you know i could get like a two for one thing so the main thing about Turo is using the money to pay your car notes. And that's going to be the basis of this video. I'm just going to talk about um, some of my costs associated with my Turo fleet. Okay, so right now I have about, I have eight cars listed on Turo. One of them is not listed right now because somebody actually... I rented the car to a lady when she was sleeping. Her daughter went and took the car and crashed it and wrecked it and abandoned it. And in future videos, I'll let you know the outcome of that and what all happens and how Turo's handling it and what to expect. So, moving forward. Most of the cost of my fleet would include the car notes, the maintenance, oil changes, um, some gas, uh, any kind of extended warranties, car shield, because when you have the cars, you want to make sure that you have the cars fully protected insurance-wise, warranty-wise, so that if something does happen to the car, um, it will be, you know, covered as far as to keep your maintenance costs down, but... Still, you may have some unexpected maintenance costs. And I'll talk about that for a little bit. Some of my unex uh, unexpected maintenance costs would be like, um, just like I went and got an oil change to one of my cars and, and they messed that up some type of way. The oil filter housing. So I had to pay for that. So that's an additional cost. Um, something unexpected. I've had a car, um, what else did I have to do? Fix a thermostat on a car. Um, that each one of those costs in the range of two, three, four hundred dollars. So when you're doing Turo, you're going to have to always have money aside just in case you have an unexpected repair or you need to do a maintenance oil change. Um, another, um, expense I had to do just recently on my Jeep Renegade is a, um, inspection. You'll notice that when you start doing Turo that every year, um, your cars have to have a safety inspection. So because the cars are often booked, it was hard for me to really schedule, uh, inspection with the, um, company listed because they want you to leave the car there come back for the free inspection but it would end up costing me more money to get an uber or a lift or a ride to go drop the car off then go and pick the car back up so i just opted to do the um the self the self um inspection that they offer with ride share mechanic and it worked out well. It cost thirty seven ninety nine, and I didn't have to spend any gas, any Uber, wait in line, and it was pretty much at my at my convenience. So that worked out well with that. But besides that, those are pretty much the costs of the um, Turo fleet, the car notes, insurance, maintenance, um, inspections, 
any cleaning supplies or anything like that. Seat covers, floor mats. Well, right now I have a customer outside, so. Hello? Hi, this is Terrence from the Toro. Okay, are you outside? Yes, ma'am, I'm in the driveway right here. Okay, I'll be out there shortly. All right. All right, bye-bye. So, I'll have to talk to y'all later. Business is calling.